Carro. Hello my Leo friends, it's Guiding Halo here. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be your your new moon reading, August 17th or 18th, depending where you live in the world, all the way for the whole month forward. The Eagle King, we got two again. See, Aries got two as well. And they're both upright, that's beautiful. The big picture, angelic help coming your way. So this reduces to a three. So really it's about how it is you're manifesting and seeing things from a higher perspective. Then we have the cosmos, creativity and vastness, card number 41. Time of massive change, it's destiny. What's coming in is destiny for you guys. All right, let's read them. Card number 41. The cosmos appears always as an ally and never a challenger. Creativity in all forms is represented by the cosmos. This is a sign to place your attention on creative projects. They will be successful. Remember that all of life is creativity and you're always co-creating with the divine. The cosmos also represents the principle of infinity and the vastness of the energetic exchange of consciousness influence all living things. This teaches us that even... Every intention we set is, in fact, contagious, with the power to influence others. We're entangled at our deepest energetic place, so we can't help but have an effect on others, from an individual level to a global one. This is a sign to remind you to open up to the well of creativity deep within you and be mindful of your thoughts and actions. Both are influencing your outer world, most important. Keep taking action towards your goals as the cosmos responds perfectly to manifest your highest destiny. Told you I was about destiny. Expect to be inspired and to meaningfully touch others with all that you create. That's beautiful. Look at that beautiful moon there too. That picture. You can see it. There you go. The Eagle King card number 12. The Eagle King is a sign that your highest destiny is within reach. You're on the right path now, even if you can't see where you're going. The Eagle King soars high above the mountains and valleys of life and is able to see the big picture when you seem to be lost in a bit of a fog. He makes a formidable ally as he takes your prayers upward to the sun. And releases them to the divine. They will be an they will be answered for the highest good of all. It's a fortunate omen when the Eagle King decides to be your ally. Beautiful, my Leo friends. I told you last time in the full moon reading, I believe it was, that there's double blessings coming your way. So it sounds to me it's still on order because we have destiny approaching. Beautiful. Angel message, please. Message from the angels. Things to keep in mind as you move through all of this. Your creativity will cre create a vastness amongst the collective cons consciousness. Angelic help coming your way. Have faith and hope because there's something positive and new on the horizon that you cannot see yet. I got that card earlier for myself. So this reading resonates for me. I have a Leo in my Venus. So if you do as well, and you're not a Leo and you're watching this, then it may resonate for you as well. Leo on this side person place entity on this side underneath here will be what's going on behind the scenes okay so we have the empress someone could be pregnant possibly within the next two three months we'll be having a baby or someone could hear that someone's pregnant but this is about giving birth to new creative ideas and understanding it's a vast move forward communication coming in to this empress someone may feel that this communication is a little bit on the 
I'm, I'm getting, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> You're coming at me like this and I'm an empress, but it's something to do with divine movement forward. So communication coming to you that is going to help move a situation forward that's been stuck, I think, for a while. And uh, move a situation forward could be a baby coming a little sooner than planned. So we have a... This is about accomplishments and moving forward at a very fast pace. Being a, having acknowledgement for job well done. Someone coming in to give give you a uh, congratulatory thing. Finding trying to find balance. Yeah, in very exciting times, but even in this movement forward. I think you're concerned someone will be left out in the cold. A Cancer, maybe. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here, Taurus, Libra, and Cancer. Feeling very defensive. Feeling like you need to protect your ideas, protect your creative stance you're taking. There's something here where destiny is going to move you forward, and I think you fear that you'll be left out in the cold, so you're being a little bit defensive. It's, it's not going to look how you want it to, so I think there's the need to want to control it, but I don't know that there is any ability. Yeah, yeah I don't know if there is a, a way to do so for you. On this side, we have home stability, family. This is also the marriage card. <clears throat> Someone's coming into some home stability. Queen of Pentacles. Someone, this could be an entrepreneur who's having a celebration based around what it is they're creating next. It's a new beginning. Uh, it's divinely guided they do. We have the destiny sign again. Coming in, two cards that speak of destiny and divine movement forward here towards this. Happy home. This could be a wedding for a Capricorn and a brand new start, Virgo Scorpio. Something they're building in business could really bring some sort of notoriety or happiness. Fours. We have two fours now. Going inward, taking a break, going on holiday to figure out where that happiness is going to stem from. Is it going to stem in my financial world? Is it going to stem in my emotions, my knowledge? What is it? Challenging truth or insight. I think while someone's having a holiday or taking a rest, it's kind of like they're being watched. Or they're watching to see what the divine brings their way as they relax. Trying to gain clarity. At the same time, this could be an ingenious idea about how to move forward. <coughs> Well, there you go. There's that small offer. Let's go for coffee. Let's go for this. Let's go for tea. Let's talk about the things that we know and understand to be true. And in some sort of way, it's a beautiful new beginning. Let's see what the divine's trying to bring about underneath the surface here. Yeah, they're trying to get you to take a leap of faith towards the new, I believe. They're going to move you forward regardless, so it may take a leap of faith. It's something that could really you could hold on to for the long term. Like this could bring a lot of wealth. And there's destiny coming out again. Wheel of Fortune. Time of change. And it's to take you into destined situations. But <laughs> sleepless nights, stress, worry, aggravation. Not sure this is a good idea. Someone's not sure. Whoever, whoever this is here, this soul person, could be dealing with two younger people, um, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Got a younger person, a Sagittarius here as well. Healing. The divine is trying to bring healing and a wish granted your way, but I don't know if you see it the way the divine sees it. 
Yeah, no, you don't. <laughs> Something to do with a Capricorn here that you could be all up in your head about how they're going to respond. Or this is feeling tied to a past situation that, that someone took a leap of faith and it mm, caused a lot of stress. But there will be healing towards what they feel stuck in. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. And it is absolutely one, two, three, four, five. There's there's six cards here, seven cards about manifesting and destiny. Have faith and hope because there's something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet. So definitely. I love you guys. I hope it resonates. Blessings.